Hi, I'm Bradley of Bradley Teaches, and today I'm going to show you how to make an animated lower third quickly and easily in Keynote. So let's jump right in and make that happen. All right, y'all. So here we are in Keynote again. We're going to open up a basic white presentation. We're going to click drag all the elements and delete. And we've got to make sure that our slide has a background of no fill. And I like to zoom out a little bit so I can see the whole slide. And so whenever I do an animated lower third or whatever kind of animated graphic I'm doing, I always want to build what it looks like on screen when it's finished animating in, right? So we're going to build that first and then we're going to put the animation on it, right? So let's build the finished product first. And I'm going to start off with my name. And let's bold that. Make it white and we're going to kick this up to about 85. That's good. And actually, I want to put a little space in between the characters. So I'm going to click the cog wheel here, kick up the character spacing some. I just like to do that. And now I'm going to add my title bar. So I'm going to add that shape and let's put a color on it. And align that under my name. And let's drag it out to about the, the O because we don't know how much space we need yet. But I'm kind of just guesstimating, right? And now we're going to add text to that, which is our title. All right, so there's my title. And we're going to make that white. We're going to kick that up to about 35. And we're going to put a little line spacing on that too. Let's go to the cog wheel and kick up the spacing on that sun. So I like that little quick design there. And we're going to put an accent bar on the side. So let's go to shape, rectangle, and we're going to color it a gold color. And we're going to put that accent bar on the side like that. I like to have those boxes connected. All right, so that's a rough lower third. So now we're going to do the animation that makes this appear and disappear. Let's go to the animate palette and we're going to open up our object list. And now the first thing I want to do is for the object list, because I've already thought out my animation, I want the text and the rectangle for Video Graphics Guru to be one unit. So I'm going to shift click both of those in the object list and I'm going to group those because I want those to animate as one thing. The other two parts are good to go as individual things. So the first thing I'm going to do is animate my bar. So I'm going to click the bar, go to animate, build in, and I'm going to wipe that. And I'm going to go from bottom to top. We're going to knock that down to 0.6 seconds. Preview that. That looks good. All right. Click on my name. I'm going to build that in and I'm going to do that with a keyboard without cursor. About a second. Right. Let's preview that like that. Then finally, I have my bottom bar. I'm going to have it wipe in. I'm going to do wipe for that and I'm going to wipe it in from the top. Kick up the speed on that. Right. Preview that. OK, that's good. All right. So now we have all the animate in pieces. Now, when you start thinking about how you want it to leave, a easy way to think about that is just have it leave in reverse order from how it came in. So reverse and backwards. So that's what we're going to do for this one. So we're going to click on each element and do an animate out backwards and in reverse of how it came in. So I'm going to click on my bottom bar first. We're going to go to build out and we're going to wipe it bottom to top and have it go out in about half a second. Then I'm going to click my name. I'm going to have it build out and we're going to do keyboard for that, but we're going to have it keyboard out backwards and no cursor about half a second. Then finally, we're going to click our bar. And we're going to have it go down. So we're going to build out wipe from top. We want it to go down and we're going to do that at about half a second. So now we have all the pieces animated in 
have all the pieces animated out. Now open up build order. And now let's put together the delays and how we want it to kind of really uh, animate. So the rectangle comes in first. My name will come in next. So we'll click that and go after build one. Then the bottom group of video graphics guru in the box will come in after that. So we'll do after two. So now here's the important part. How long do we want it to stay before it builds out? And so now we're going to pick that. We're going to say after build three. And I usually do mine somewhere between three and five seconds. So let's pick between that and do four. Then my name will leave after that. And then the final rectangle will leave after that. So let's preview it real quick. Bar name bar. Bar disappears, name disappears, bar disappears, right? And so that is a quick and easy animation for a lower third. Draw out how you want it to look in the final rendition, animate it, and then a good way to think about making it leave the screen is just make it leave in reverse opposite order, All right? So now let's export this, file export to movie. We're gonna put zero, zero here. Apple ProRes 4444. Next, name, that's good. All right, so it's exported now and let's go to Ecamm and see how it looks. And here's our animated lower third. So I hope this helped you and gave you some creative juices started flowing so you can start making your own lower thirds. And until next time, I am Bradley Vinson, Alana's Pawpaw, be blessed, be free, be good to yourselves, be good to one another. See y'all next time.